Okay. So if you ever wondered what my sense of humor is like. Uh, if you're a longtime pupper, you don't wonder. Yeah, you know. If you're new. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> basically. All right, pups. Welcome back to I Am Satsuna. In the last part, we found a little care in the My Slay Woods. My he's, the, he's the squirrely little guy. Yeah. Fella with the glasses. Kerr. Yep. He said, oh, Kerr. I think he has a tail, too. Mm-hmm. Right. I think he has ears as well. Like, his hair is set to look like ears. Everybody got little can uh, animal characteristics in this journey. <laughs> Except for Satsuna. Yeah, she's the most... Merced. Merced. She's the she's most the human. human. Of all the souls upon this guess, voyage, hers I'd... was the most human. Human. An idea doesn't have... Nah, he just has the personality of a papa bear. It's Baloo the bear! Baloo. I could see him being voiced by the same actor that does Baloo in the original. Mm -hmm. Oh, now come here, little britches. Let me show I you the bear don't necessities. remember anything about Bear in the Big Blue House. Oh, shit, you just took me for a loop. Yeah. Uh, I remember he'd say goodnight to the moon. Yeah. And the moon would talk. But that is it. And that is the second piece of medium that ever personified the moon growing up. That okay. was the positive one. Majora's Mask was the negative one. Oh. My mom used to read us goodnight, moon. Goodnight, moon. Goodnight, moon. The missile launcher you, says, good night, moon. Are you familiar with the book, Go the Fuck to Sleep? Yes. <laughs> we sell it at work. It's narrated by Samuel Jackson. Oh, my God. Yes. It's actually really good. <laughs> Someone misshelved it and put it in, like, the children's section. Oh, no. And I was just like, hard no, hard no. There was another one that's like, I think it's called P is for pterodactyl. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, jeez. And it's like, it starts out super cute, and mm. then as you keep going, it's like, wow, not for kids. <laughs> this is the young adult section, as you see here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I gotta commend these characters. They go through an entire journey in the bitter cold, whereas I step outside and I'm just like, <laughs> shit, God! I know, I made the mistake of taking Wesker out in my, like, jammy shorts mm. this morning. Oh, yeah? I thought my legs were gonna fall off. Cause like I took him out and he just like stared at me and I'm just like, you gotta do something. <laughs> I know, like he walks around the yard mm -hmm. like he's gonna poop and mm -hmm. then he just like looks up at you like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, buddy. He looks up at me with such admiration. Admiration he doesn't express in the house. So I'm just I like, know. why now? Like, why are you waiting until now to be like, I love my person. <laughs> I know. I know it's where like that's the only time well, not the only time, but that's like the main time we're bitching at him. Yeah. Hurry up, Wesker! He's like, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, hurry up! And I know you love you're me the, too! You're the best! I'm just like, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, Muffies. So I have a charm now that shows their HP. I believe I have it equipped to Setsuna. Ooh. It's very helpful when I'm just like, hmm, will a good old smack with the sword do the trick, or should I whip out one of my spells? Should I preserve that MP, or should I let loose? That is the golden question. I'm getting better with using stuff, instead of, like, hoarding it till the end. Yeah, that is uh, very common with RPGs, and it's just like, well, you made it to the end, might as well use it. Yeah. And uh, I did a lot better with Dragon Quest XI. Actually, about a few hours in, I'm just like, okay, I understand how to get items on yeah. a farm for items. I think that's like that's. So I'm just going to use items. That's the same as I'm playing. I'm like, okay, how easily can I get stuff? What is the currency? Like, 
am I going to come by this often or not? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just like using it liberally. Well, the way Dragon Quest like works I'm in a is, much higher like, tax bracket. You get this big party and everyone has these healing spells and you're like, do I really have to use potions? But there's a point where like you have to refine everyone. Yeah. And that's the point where it's just like, Shit, hey, there's a lot more potions. potions. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot more potions available to you and the game's mm -hmm. like, hey, we're giving you a few extra. Use your potions. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Because I definitely hoard. See, there's a game that actually, I, I don't want to say punishes you for hoarding, but breaks you out of your comfort zone because your weapons break. Ah. So it's not about hoarding. It's just like, just burn that's, through them. That's a Zelda game. Yes. Z the Zelda is the one where it is the most frequent. Okay. <laughs> well, but Dark Cloud has weapon durability. I Dark don't, Souls. like... I don't necessarily... There's a game I played called Draken Ancient Gates. I don't hate the idea that your weapons will break if you can find new weapons or if there's a way to repair your weapons. There's not a way to repair your weapons, um, but you always find new weapons. Yeah, where it's like, this is your only sword, don't break it. And then it like breaks two minutes into the game and be like, well, fuck you. Right. No, it's not that. It's like you start off and you're getting twigs and then you get swords and then you get bigger swords and mm -hmm. elemental swords, but yeah. like they all break. My issue is you have so many goddamn weapons, you're constantly switching, and oh. I just hate the motion of stop, switch, yeah, grab it kind another of breaks weapon. the flow. Yeah, it breaks the tension, it breaks the flow, breaks the pacing. It just sucks me right out of the immersion of the battle. Yeah. Where I'm just like, oh, okay, on to the next one. And it's like do you put much thought into the next weapon or do you just fling yeah, out another just, weapon just to go. keep the ball rolling? It makes me wonder if you literally just keep using each new weapon. Like, fuck I the old ones, you just to. keep using the new ones. Because that is the only way I have fun with the combat in that game. Yeah. Is just by not really thinking about the weapon, just being like, all yeah. right, this one. Because I feel like unless it's a like a specialty weapon, kind of like how Alice did, mm -hmm. where it's like some of the enemies use the ice one some of the enemies do better if you use the jack in the box like yeah some of them the dice like or the jacks rather like switching between those is really frustrating because certain enemies use certain weapons but if it like is standard like the weapon looks different mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily change anything and it's like oh this enemy will only die by this weapon mm -hmm. like i don't care okay <laughs> break the weapons all you want as long as i get a new one <laughs> yeah Scattered, scattered that oh it's me scatterbrained old woman i'm featured in the game guys here it is here's another one yellow top carrot snowflake peppercorn some crunchy coriander all righty so we're gonna get ourselves another recipe hmm i missed some of the ingredients she'll review them yellow top carrot soup enjoy it while it's still hot And there we go. Now we have the recipe that we can give to the cook. For it's mild a, soup. It's a mild soup. Mm-hmm. You don't like cooked carrots. No. I don't like the smell or texture of cooked carrots. Cooked carrots have this smell that I think is absolutely nauseating. Would you like it as a soup? The texture would be more like tomato soup? Possibly. But it would still taste like carrots. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> I love cooked carrots. <laughs> hey, some people I love, love vegetables in general. Like, there's hey, not many. Hey, another one. Holy shit. It's a lonely mushroom. Yeah. Gonna give it to the rude soldier. Maybe he'll pep up a little bit. They're real hard to find around here. All right, what do we got now? Just a lot, lot of, of soups. soups. A lot of soups. I it's love soup. You don't here. like soup, but I love soup. I only like soup if I'm not feeling well, which I feel like today was one of the days where I'm just like, I could, I could use a soup. Well. It's okay. I can make my own soup. <laughs> I got the recipes right here. <laughs> I could have a lonely mushroom soup, yellow top carrot soup, or... A parika cobbler. Parika cobbler salad. salad. Which was just like onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Onion salad. Beady-eyed soldier. You really like the description of these I characters, do. huh? And just like none of them are nice. 
So I was like, old, withered woman. It's cold outside. This one's smiling, but he still has AIDS. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. That's not <laughs> that what was that a, means. No, that was a family guy joke. <laughs> I didn't make that one up. Oh, okay. It, I, uh, do you remember the Adam West episode Maybe. where he like marries Lois's sister? Okay. I'm and he he's like, oh, I have to I have to tell you though, I have AIDS. And she's like, what? And he goes, see, they're right back there. <laughs> And he's like, too bad they both have AIDS. <laughs> so it's definitely a family guy joke. I didn't okay. make it up. All right, then. Now, it's been a while since I've seen Family Guy. All popcorn content is rated ages 13 and up. Yep. Unless it's a mature game, then it's rated 18 and up. Yeah. Boom. Just like that. Oh, that one's nice. Cheerful girl. Cheerful girl. Okay. Quiet mother. At least she didn't kill her husband with boiling water and sugar. <laughs> Sorry, I read an article that was just reading, disturbing, and then you started just cackling, and I said, "What?" And you told me this story, and I'm just I'm, <laughs> you're like, I "That's was, not funny I was at all." Reminded of Robin Hood <laughs> Men in Tights. What are you laughing about? This is terrible news. <laughs> um, yeah, the article, like, it was really intense. A woman found out her husband had um, abused their children sexually yep. when they were young, and she like lost her shit. Mm-hmm. And boiled a bunch of water and put like three bags of sugar in it, which is awful. Mm -hmm. Like it causes a lot of damage. I don't know if anyone out there watching has ever made candy. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> and she like dumped like, I think it, they said something, it came to like two gallons mm -hmm. of hot sugar water on an 80 year old man. And he ended up <sighs> passing away, um, which I'm like, well, don't molest your children. Yeah. But the end i i was real serious the whole way through like wow this is terrible like i don't know if i should be rooting for the woman or be like well i mean that's what you get for killing your husband right. there are better ways to go about it than that True. um but inside i'm still like whoop 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 go mama <laughs> like yeah uh, i mean she had enough but like at the very end the woman who wrote the article is a food blogger uh -huh. that's like uh, she's passionate about baking and food and food brings us together and I'm like or kills your husband like <laughs> it was just a funny little coincidence there a little that, like, like dark humor yeah though. the food blogger writes an article about a woman using molten candy to kill her <laughs> husband it's fine <laughs> okay so if you ever wondered what my sense of humor is like uh if you're a long time pupper you don't wonder yeah, you know. If you're new... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Just apologize now. I prefer the dark humor over the... Hmm. What's with the backwards R? You know what? It happened one time. <laughs> According to that dude, he just left comments about just like a lot of nitpicky shit. I think they were all me too. They were all like, well, that's stupid. And I'm like, <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> um... No, I just kind of figured it's probably a kid. Yeah. I will say this, like, no one's allowed to pick on Mando but me. <laughs> you pick yeah. on Mando, you're in deep shit. I pick on Mando. I pick on Mando, <laughs> yeah. Luna you're, you're, picks on Mando. <laughs> you're allowed to pick on Mando. <laughs> Puppers aren't allowed to pick on Mando. No. That's like the only rule here. There's just, that's why why smiley faces were invented. So it's like if you're being serious, you exclude a smiley face mm -hmm. or an emoji. But if you're just like having fun, because we like to have fun, yeah. we can we can poke jokes at ourselves. You know, we're not that serious. Look at me. I know. <laughs> hey, you just, just add a smiley face or something so Wasting we know. Wasting away. <laughs> mm, I think I'm just taking all of it from you. <laughs> You're like Arnold Schwarzenegger like, with his oh, Kennedy wife. Oh, I'm like a, a pish taco. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, don't sell the suit. Oh, man. There was a lady at the gym this morning. Okay. And she had, she was an older woman. She had to be at least in her, her mid 60s. Oh, yeah? Um, And she had. A Black Widow tattoo, like the spider, the not spider. not the superhero. 
but okay. the spider on her neck. <laughs> mm. And I was just like, ooh, I don't know. I feel intimidated right now. <laughs> She's probably part of a cult. <laughs> or a gang. Yeah. Oh, she had like the short old lady. Like, they all curl. kill their husbands. I know. <laughs> With candy. Eat their mates. Um, But like she looked like if she would have been wearing a turtleneck, uh -huh. she looked like she would have been like the sweet type of grandma. Okay. With like the short curly hair, like the close crop grandma style hair. Okay, I think I have an idea what you're saying. Then she just turned her head and I saw that neck tattoo and I was like, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Don't fuck with her. <laughs> I know, I was like, oh. Grandma. She's part of the wild hogs or whatever. I know. <laughs> the wild hogs? Wild hogs is an actual group. That's a um, comedy based off like older gentlemen in their 40s that are bikers. Oh. Okay. So kind of uh, like the pagans. In a way. Um, I'm trying to think, because like Orange County is the chopper. What are the name of biker gangs? Like, what's a popular biker gang? The Pagans. The Pagans. Mm -hmm. Okay. I uh, that's like that's really the only one. Sorry, that I was thinking of the religion. Oh <laughs> no, that's like the only one that I know of. I don't really know of any other like biker gangs. Okay. At least not out where we live. I know more There's fictional really. biker gangs than like actual biker gangs. Oh yeah, gangs. that one's like an actual biker gang. Cool. Just picture Granny like on the back of a Harley. <laughs> hey, you do hey, you, but I mean, whatever I'm keeping makes my you distance. happy. <laughs> Anybody with a Black Widow, like, and I'm assuming like the female Black Widow. Yeah. I mean, it was like, it, I mean, it was a decent. Tattoo. Yeah, like it was big. It wasn't just like a little tiny spider, you know, it was like. That's was, the kind of woman that would take guy. her thighs and open up and pop a uh, bottle of champagne. <laughs> they just, don't mess around. I'll just crack a watermelon with mine. <laughs> it's fine. Can you crack a watermelon with your I've thighs? I've never tried. Oh, we should. How much pressure does it take to crack a watermelon? This summer. <laughs> Coming soon. Season three of Pup. <laughs> Mando crushes a watermelon between her thighs. <laughs> I, I'm Googling how much pressure it takes. Pressure. Here's my question. If you crushed a watermelon, would you be proud or just kind of like... <laughs> I'd probably <laughs> cry a little bit. <laughs> so what are you looking up? How much pressure it takes to crush a watermelon. Have you ever seen videos of oh, okay. people using samurai swords to slice up watermelons yes. and cantaloupe? Okay, I definitely wouldn't be able to crush a watermelon. No? It takes 364 pounds of pressure. How much pressure do those thighs deliver? About 120. Okay. Well, well. All right, let's add some new skills here. Sanctity. Uh, in Chrono, adds the time element. Okay. Ultimate truth. Why is that such an asked question? What? what the, the watermelon <laughs> one? Yeah. How hard would it be to crush a watermelon between my thighs? Any tips on how to make it easier? <laughs> I want to crush a watermelon between my thighs. I'm a 5 foot 11, 165 pound lean male. I've danced for many years, so most of my strength is in my lower half. What kind of melon would be best? An older melon? Round or oblong? Any advantages to short... Maybe like a peach. Short of rotting or pre-cut watermelon, I'd be fine with. I'm not a melon expert. <laughs> Wouldn't be cantaloupe. Oh my god. Ah, that brings up a good point. So what's tough is you've got the femoral artery between your thighs, and you could cause yourself a great deal of pain. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. Could you, that would be the most like, embarrassing, uh, like, hospital trip of, like, internal bleeding, bleeding out of, like, oh, I tried to crush a melon with my thighs, and I damaged my femoral artery. Could you imagine if the doctor responded with, I hate when people do that. I know, <laughs> like, this again. <laughs> uh, here we go again with this shit. Ho ho. Now I got a shocking spell. Oh my god, someone posted a link. This is the most common technique I found online. Okay. 
I assume locking the feet together allows for the use of calves and butt. Hooray, new skills. I use a similar position for grappling people. I don't generally feel pain, though I'm around the squishy part of the torso, not squeezing to crush, just retain. Okay. Well, how about that? Well, okay then. How odd. So, uh, don't do it. Yeah. It might yeah. seem like fun, but let's instead <laughs> uh, buy some samurai swords and yeah. just I'm go in the backyard and start Way chopping. more, because could you imagine what our neighbors would, they'd be like, these fucking people have samurai swords now? <laughs> like. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so not only are my legs not strong enough, but I could cause damage to my femoral arteries. Yeah, we don't want to <laughs> do that. Goals, though. Go Goals. to your chiropractor. <laughs> He'd be like, what now? <laughs> what did you do now? Crushed a watermelon. And whose broad idea was that? <laughs> my boyfriend. I'll just point to you. Honey, you got to leave that man. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my chiropractor. <laughs> He's probably like, you got to leave that dude. Oh, my God. He is so funny. Like You've shown me. Oh, yes. Check this out. So this is Bloji. Together. Just Boom. To highlight everybody. Look at all those kills. Link kill, debuff kill, momentum kill. Ooh, 44 EXP. Ching. So yeah, that was fancy. <laughs> uh, I, I like a lot of the techniques that they get later on, you know, as the game progresses. Yeah, you have to keep an eye on, like, who shares the techniques because if you like replace with a different, you lose that technique yeah. when you switch the party members because those techniques are specific to, to who the... is in the party. Right. So it's always good to remember that because like Eterna and Endy are the only ones that can do the cross slash. Yeah. Whereas uh, an IDR and Endier, they do um, blowback, blowbeak. Yeah, blowbeak. Blowbeat, I think it is. Blowbeat. King. There we go. <laughs> nice. Ooh. <laughs> Hope that shows up. Yeah. Yo, Dr. V. <laughs> Free adjust my neck. Oh, man. Sometimes when he cracks my neck, I can feel it in my toes. Oh, like, wow. Oh. So it shoots all the way down. Yeah. Woot hoot. <laughs> Woot hoot. Gotta get you before you fly away. Come on, pom poms. They already flew away. I like that even their their like little furs are blowing in the yes. wind. Yeah. I don't know how they know fire, but okay. Hey. Look how cute they are. Aww. The buddies. Baby girl. These cats freaking love Wesker. Yes, they do. Can't deny that. Warm yeah. ear fur. Right All now, right. she's like loving on him. <laughs> it's so cute. That one time, though, when she was using his little curly tail as a pillow, yeah, I, I my heart that. melted. It melted I right out of my that. body. Oh, well. For as mean as she is to Bubka, <laughs> she is a very loving cat. Yes. I can vouch for that. Unless she's hungry. Yeah, she's still loving. And then she like, slaps the shit out. <laughs> but then she slaps the shit out of Milo. Yeah. <laughs> Can't ignore that little factoid. <laughs> Wesker's. I feel like he's like, oh, these cats. But he still kind of likes them. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Except for Milo, when he shakes water at him. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably just like, oh, this cat. He goes, my fur is wet now. Now I smell like wet dog. Meow. <laughs> Here's Mr. Independent here. <laughs> I do life my way. These boots were made for walking. Taps his little peg legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ghostly figure. 
So Kerr has like his wand or whatever like wrapped around his tail, right? Is that what that is? Because it looks like he has like I a stick. I think so, yeah. Protruding from his tail. Because he has a staff. I think it's a staff. Okay. Just leave him alone. <laughs> hmm. Wait and see what he does. That mask isn't just for show. Thank you, Eterna. <laughs> and there we go. Just like that, it was gone. Setsuna's asking the real questions. <laughs> yep. Yes? Sure, Kerr. He's hiding something. <laughs> Eterna knows Eterna it too. Got she's like just like. Mm -hmm. ellipses. Hmm. I feel like she's probably one of my favorite characters in this game. Never trust her. Like, her dialogue and stuff. Ellipses. Oh, yeah. Because of the sassiness. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I have an ellipses. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I have an ellipses tattoo. <laughs> Never trust anyone who uses an ellipses. Uh, baby, I don't trust you. <laughs> ho, ho, oh, ho. rude. <laughs> rude. It's my secret. For sure. Alrighty. So we're going to make our way back to the citadel. Da, 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 da. Not the prince onion. The king. The onion. king. Yeah. Big old onion with a crown. <laughs> That's what they used to make bloomin' onions. Ooh. I haven't had a bloomin' onion in a long time. I remember that was like the first time I tried one was at Outback. Yeah. That's the only place I know that sells them. A lot of bars like Outback. Out. Oh dear. Outback. <laughs> Out blah. <laughs> Holy he. Outback Steakhouse. God, I'm dyslexic as shit. A lot of bars like Outback Steakhouse have Bloomin' Onion features. Mm. Very common southern menu. You know, I don't know that I have ever actually had a Bloomin' Onion. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't really start to like onions until after college. Okay. You might have to try one out sometime. I'm down. I like onions now. Alright. So we found our ship, right? He might deny it, but he's the guy we're looking for. And even Eterna trapped him. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you got me. Hand in the cookie jar. We have a no. cookie jar. Eterna outwitted him. But it has power power bars in it. <laughs> no. Oh, this is the tut tut. Yep. This is the guy that goes tut tut tut. Because earlier it's just like, seek out a cache, the shipwright. How will we find him? He has a tendency to go tut 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 when he talks. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a, a stutter. T -t -t Could be. What else would it be? Just like a little tick? Tut tut. Yeah. I mean, that's like um, Tourette's. <laughs> it's normally like a verbal and like a, a, a physical like, mm -hmm. tick. So like either like twitching your head. Okay. Yeah. Which I just recently learned. I always thought that Tourette's was how, like, entertainment showed us. Like, it's just screaming swear words. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> and it's not. Okay. Just. Oh, that's it? Yeah. I guess that's the end of the conversation. End of thought. End of thought. Period. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I was, like, about to get an Indian style, be like, tell me more. And you're just like... <laughs> 
the end. Well, there's like there's a channel on Snapchat actually that's like um, most commonly asked questions, and one of them was about Tourette's, and the girl had Tourette's. Okay. So. Oh no, that? he's licking. It's Wesker's tick. Leave him alone. He does not have Tourette's. I didn't say Tourette's. I said his tick. Well, he doesn't need to have it. He can't help it. He's, he's gonna lick his peep. No. He doesn't need to. He's gonna give himself a rash. You little guys. <laughs> he old man style is like I need to moisten my mouth. <laughs> He's still doing it. Yep. Let me moisten my my dry lips. All right, so that old man we met earlier was Lord Dynas. So now he's saying, Hey, I'm the original lord of this citadel, and I order you to help them on their journey. Hmm. But we still have to settle matters with the current lord, who I believe is either his son or his grandson. Okay. But look, recipes. Recipes, recipes, far as the eye can see. Okay, so the first one. Oh, he doesn't reiterate. Hmm. We'll have to Pause pull the it. video back up and be like, <laughs> oh, those are the ingredients. Onward to making the recipe. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for more recipes and stuff to do cooking segments. Mm -hmm. uh, if anyone has a... Favorite recipe from an anime, cartoon, book, or video game? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Yeah. And in the next part, we'll continue our journey. Toodles.